Welcome back to my channel. Um, I have these glasses here, which are the Unreal Air glasses. They are great. I love them. Uh, I assume if you're watching this video, you already know about them, so I'm not going to go into details. But it works well with my phone and it works well with my PC. Now, one of the things about this is that some of us, we've been waiting on the, uh, the Nebula for Windows, kind of a, like how there is a Nebula for, uh, for Mac. You know, we want to be able to uh, have a virtual screen when we're sitting. In my case, sometimes I'm sitting on the couch, sometimes I'm sitting on my massage chair, and sometimes I'm on the road. You know, I'm somewhere else, and I would like to have a virtual screen. Now, since we don't have Nebula for Windows yet, I decided to figure out a workaround for this. And here are some things that I did to figure out how I can have virtual screens on my computer. I did figure it out, but first I want to show you some of the things that, some of the steps that I went through. So some of you may know about an app called BlueStacks. If you don't know about BlueStacks, you really should uh, get yourself familiarized with BlueStacks. It's great. It's an emulator that allows you to, to download uh, it's an emulator that allows you to run pretty much Android on your PC. Now you're thinking Android on your PC. Now there is Nebula for Android. So why not just download Nebula on the Android on this PC, right? Which is exactly what I did. And now I already have it open. So I'm going to go to BlueStacks. And this is what it looks like. Obviously, you have your Play Store, uh, which is where you get the, uh, all your Android apps from. And then you're going to run the Nebula app. Now, the thing is, once you run the Nebula app right, it's going to obviously, it's going to open the app and you're going to get into this AR space. The next thing to do will be to connect your Unreal Air glasses to the app. Now here's where the issue is. The app will not recognize the, it will not recognize the glasses. I do have a USB type C on my, on the side of my computer. I've tried everything I can and the app will not recognize the glasses being connected. It's, it sucks because the app is, is loaded, the app, you know, opens up, but it just would not recognize the glasses. So I said, okay, what is the next way up? I mean, what is the next way to figure out how I can get this virtual screen? Then I happened to run across a Reddit that mentions an application called uh, Ginger XR. Now, Ginger XR is pretty cool because it does exactly what Nebula for, for, um, for Mac is doing, but it does it using, it does it on Windows. So the first thing, once you, um, when you get to the, uh, their website, which I'm going to put a link in the bio, you're going to download Windows app virtual monitor. And when you download the app, you're gonna run it once again as an ad administrator. You always wanna run it as an administrator. And then you're gonna set it up and it's gonna look like what I'm about to show you next. So right now my Unreal is connected to my computer and I'm gonna show you how this thing works. As you know, it is kind of hard to show you, but this is my computer screen. As you can see, I have multiple windows. My computer screen, pan up. This is virtual windows. This is exactly what I see in my glasses. So here I'm using a screen capture to show you guys what I see on my display, I mean on my glasses. So I can have a web browser on either side of the monitor or the virtual monitor. 
so each window and then in the middle I can have documents or video editing in the middle and just you know do whatever I want to do and virtual monitor so once again your computer screen doesn't have to be on it could actually be off uh, and you still have those virtual windows um, on your glasses you can have up to five screens but I prefer just to have only three that way it makes it easier to pan left uh, and right uh, but overall this is something you'll have to download and experience for yourself it is great it, um, I mean the software itself it's not perfect but it gets the job done sometimes it shifts a little bit but all you have to just reset it back with a keyboard combination which is control shift r it resets it back into the to the middle and uh like i said once again overall this is uh our version of nebula for windows it is thanks to the uh company called uh ginger xr and uh i am so glad i found this because it actually does exactly what i needed to do and uh catch you at the next time if you have any questions let me know